this name has a certain Hitchcockish flavor for me, and it was the best way to to call these eleven stories pretty much influenced by the cinema narrative and storytelling. And then behind the T Chronicles adds mystery and adds also my love about tea. I used to write a column about wine and tea. Tea was pretty much have been a, a, a pretty much an obsession in my life. I am pretty much a home person. Since my teens, I have the habit of watching two to three movies per day. And also, um, I love comic books um, that I prefer to call bande dessinée, as the French call. And I love the uh, bande dessinée from f French Belgian from the 50s, 60s, and also I might say that gastronomy doesn't influence my music at all, but it gives some wet, it gives some, some pleasure, some hedonism to each chord, each word. The 11 songs I wrote for this album, they are pretty much cinema influenced because my life is inside my house. So my personal experience is pretty much more um, a storytelling from Billy Wilder instead of personal experience um, because my... My idea, my goal is to tell stories. Um, I'm not trying to, to do nothing more than tell stories. I think my music is a reflection of my record collecting. I started to write music, to compose, after my record collection so it, it 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 has a huge impact in my life so i used to listen to several different things to collect several different things jazz soul soundtracks reggae brazilian music music from europe from asia all globe everything interests me i mean and um, yeah, that's why I don't want to stick to one thing, to a style, to a genre. Um, I'd like to, to open the range without looking just to one place or just to one aesthetic. I have to thank technology for this. It made it made it possible. We were recording and talking through internet, and I didn't went to LA. I didn't went to Prague to record this time. I could make it by distance. It was beautiful. <laughs> I'd like to repeat that many times. <laughs> and it was so easy and everything is written. Everything is or, or absolutely organized. So it's a, it's a music that still maintains and keep um, the vision that we must go to a studio organized with everything written. I mean, of course, there's ideas that comes in the studio, but everything is pretty much already set. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things that changed my mind regarding music, regarding studio in the mid 80s was when I heard Steely Dan for the first time. And because Donald Fagan and Walter Becker, I, I became also obsessive about the details on my album and also studio care, microphone position, trying to not EQ too much, avoiding EQ, because when you when you EQ too much, you, you destroy the natural generation of the sound. So not much EQ, pretty much microphone position that changes the EQ, the sound and everything. And for me, I, I don't listen only albums that are technically perfect or technically in tune or something like this. But when it comes to me, that that's I have this freakness to hear everything absolutely in tune and everything playing super right, super tight, not a machine, but tight, tight. Tight indeed. Whoa, my favorite movies and TV series. So, TV series. My favorite ever is Colombo, Peter Falk. I had the chance to meet Peter Falk in Nice. I remember that in 2003. And. Also, I love Barnaby Jones, all the Queen Martin productions, Streets of San Francisco, Dan August, Cannon, and I also love the Sweeney from UK, and, well, lots of things. Perry Mason, I like the series from the past, of course, that's my thing. Um, movies. It's super difficult. It's uber difficult to make a list of a hundred movies or something. I'm going to talk about some directors I love. Jacques Tati, Jean-Pierre Melville, Basio Dearden, uh, Billy Wilder, William Wilder, Wilder uh, Delmer Davis, Alexander McKendrick. Joseph Lucy, Carol Reed, but just a small, very small, I don't know, top five thinking fast. Odd Man's Out from Carol Reed, Murder My Sweet from Edvard Dimitrik, um, Ace in the Hole from Billy Wilder, Jacques Tati Playtime, and Moon. And, oh my gosh, I forgot a Frank Bozage one, one, but um, I might say also children, uh, ch Children's Hour from Weed and Wilder. <music> I started record collecting with my mom's records that were Brazilian 50s, 60s music, music before Bossa, that she was having into it, and some soul music, Donny Hathaway, Curtis Mayfield, and things. But I started my collection as a blues rock guy, as a blues rock collector. So the thing for me was Rory Gallagher, Chicken Shack, Savoy Brown, Humble Pie, Led Zeppelin, Brody Gallagher, Johnny Winter. Um, it was my first love in music that I, Johnny Winter a lot. Johnny and his brother, Edgar, they influenced me a lot. My singing, lots of stuff. But after, after this came blues and then jazz and then just from all over the globe uh, that teach me 
how to listen artists from all over the planet and soundtracks. I mean, Ennio Morricone soundtracks, Ennio Mancini soundtracks that I have a complete collection um, and lots of things, lots, lots of things and lots of MPS records here. You know that, guys. Loads of them. Let's say a fast top five MPS for me. Clark Boland Orchestra, Latin Kaleidoscope, Mikhail Nauha, Call, um, the record, uh, Claire Fisher, Manteca, um, Bill Evans, Symbiosis, one of the most important albums in my life. And also Volker Kriegel, October Variations. Yeah, I'm not a critic, to be honest. I'm, 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 I never criticize a wine. I was just a writer. I was just writing my experiences related to wine. Um, it started in the mid mid nineties that I used to write for Brazilian newspapers and magazines about wine and a bit about food, but more wine, more wine. But then and after came tea, tea that became a huge interest in my life. But wine is until today something that I'm still searching for things, but I am mostly searching for nice, beautiful, perfect red and white burgundies. I love burgundy more than wine. I love burgundy so much. That's why I kind of stopped to, to, to write about wine because my love, my burgundy love, my gosh. Edna Lopez, my wife, with whom I'm married for 33 years. She's a renaissance woman. She, she's brilliant. She, she makes comics, comic books that I prefer the name Bandesine. She illustrates, she writes lyrics, she draws, she makes wonderful scenarios for stage, concerts, and video clips, lyric video, and she cooks like Pierre Gagnier. <laughs> Lots of things. <laughs> 